it was a lot of fire, lot of fire. Even sleep at all was not safe because there's other people just burn the place without nothing reason which can give you why they burn. They just burn. It is deep rural municipality, and we experience a lot of fire, and as such, we feel we need to get away a mechanism where we can fight fire. And we are very much happy that we got a program which assists and encourages the community to fight against uh, fire. The fires cause a lot of damage in, in cattle with grazing, even killing cattle, and uh, orchards. Also, once the orchards are gone, a lot of these guys have got no income from them. We only have one uh, fire station here, and they located maybe 100 kilometers away from the last village. And that area, if they were to reach that, they will take some hours. So even if they report fire, when they arrive there, uh, the fire shall have done a lot of damage. It's a volunteer program, which then becomes a part-time um, job program, where we train and employ 150 volunteers. Uh, we train them in basic firefighting and firewise principles. They go out to their communities and they then do these firewise principles within their communities. Um, the basic firefighting comes in for uh, initial attack. If a fire starts small or maybe a rubbish fire or something, there's always somebody around with a beater that can just attack, attack it there, keep it small. There are a lot of women just because those are the people who who, who usually, when we talk about volunteer, those are the people who came first to volunteer. <laughs> now they were lacking. Men, they are always stubborn just because they always think of payment. As the firefighters, we go to schools, we teach them how to to burn the fire and to take the fire out, you know. And we go to homes, we advise them not to put the fire Maybe when you, you want to put the fire on, you have to tell us so that we can help you, you see. And uh, it is very nice since these job opportunities have come. The field and forest fire has been slowed down. They do a lot of awarenesses at schools, but they also do village to village awareness where if they see a village is not complying to firewise, they'll physically go in and either help them to comply or just tell them about firewise. For such a long time I wasn't working, but now because I'm earning something at the end of the month, I can buy food, I can buy clothes. I, I think this is very great, guys. I'm a criminal. I'm sitting 15 years in jail. Now I'm not criminal. I'm changing because of this job. The FBI was the main driving force behind the, the firewise communities and disaster management in the Vembe district have also now shown interest in what we're doing whereas before we had a, a hard time getting our foot in the door with them. The Mutali fire station has also now taken us with open arms where before it was a bit of an issue where they, they sort of thought we were trying to take their job but in seeing what we've done they've now welcomed us as well. Now today, all of us as partners, we are now knowing each other. What is the role that we're supposed to play? Even the chief who are present, is their opportunity to know this project very well. I'm very proud of this job and I love it.
today I'm very happy because I um, achieved something to fire. Now, the houses which was burned, cattle was, was burned, everything is, was destroyed by the, by the fire. Since you start to come here, all the things stop. This project must not stop. I'm very happy about that.